But right. when did you feel the need to not only do it for yourself, but spread the good news to everybody? So, you know, I went to undergraduate for um, biology and I went to graduate school for human biology. So I got a second degree in, in the biology of human beings. Um, and then I went to work in the life insurance industry. And I worked in a very special division of life insurance, which was the mortality division. Mm -hmm. And the thing about life insurance and a lot of other financial services instruments, you would not believe how many tens of billions of dollars of financial services instruments every year are issued based on when people are going to die. Reverse mortgages, annuities, life insurance. This is all based on when people are going to die. If I'm a life insurance company and I'm about to put $25 million of risk on your life, only one thing matters. And so we got very, very good at looking at medical records and, and determining um, how many more months you had left on earth. Yeah. And, and I was brainwashed for years into just thinking that this was data, right? These were just spreadsheets. Um, I had nothing to do with putting the person in this position. It wasn't my responsibility to get them out of this position. It was my responsibility to predict when they were going to die. And, but a lot it. of insurance companies, they might turn a person down if they feel like, well, you're only going to be here another two years. There ain't no point to take that small 100%. amount for that high payout at the end of the two years, right? A hundred percent. I mean, yeah. you want to you want to know where, you know, where life insurance, I mean, you want to know where health uh, trends are going, watch what life insurance companies do. Look at the way the people are being table rated now for multiple vaccinations and multiple vaccine boosters. Yeah. You can say what you want, but if you got multiple boosters in your medical record, you are being table rated. They will charge you more for your life insurance for sure. policy. Wow. We knew about, we That's had crazy. data. Remember, life insurance companies have data that no other company has. No other financial services company has no no other um university no clinical study not even the federal government they know the day the date the time the location and the cause of death mm -hmm. for 370 million lives and on the day you die they also have all your medical records they know your blood work they know your genetics um you know so now they can triangulate that back into the medical records so we knew i mean i will tell you that the database that I had access to for 20 years and that I used to predict mortality, if that database could see the light of day, it would permanently change the face of humanity. Hmm. It would upend modern medicine in a way that would be catastrophic. And that's why it'll never see the light of day. Because the truth about what's going on in humanity, chemicals, synthetics, pharmaceuticals, is in that database. We knew, for example, that um, take the African-American population. 85% of the African-American population is clinically deficient in vitamin D3. This is the single most important nutrient in the human body. When you're deficient in vitamin D3, you're...